Yo, Song, this is your son to get in the gym now. Now, no more waiting. What's good with y'all boys, man? I missed y'all. And I'm Jay Hines. I'm a personal trainer. I'm 19 years old, and I've been helping people get in shape. Now, if you clicked on this video, it's likely that you've been in the gym or you've thought about going to the gym or you were going to the gym. You just stopped going because you weren't seeing the results you wanted to see. I'm here to tell you exactly why you haven't been seeing results. I have been able to chance my I've been able to transform my body from skinny fat to ripped bro i'm telling you like right now like you can see bro like yeah that's like little flex no pump no nothing some light shit but i had a pump right now you go crazy and you can really see my chest like i'm not gonna be on a weird shit but look the reason why you're not seeing results in the gym is because you are approaching the gym the wrong way you've been approaching it wrong the whole time and you need to approach the gym this way right all of these tips are necessary in order for you to see the results you want to see so stick to the end of the video now the first thing i'm gonna tell you this is not a fucking tip this isn't the tip on the list right i literally made the list no this is not on the list but you need to stop hitting full body bro if you're watching this and you're hitting full body every day and you're wondering why you're not seeing any results you're wondering why yeah you're still seeing a little bit of results but you're not seeing the results you want to see it's because you're hitting full body every single day bro you hitting full body every day is pretty much like you not doing shit you need to isolate bro think about it when you're multitasking, right, you're doing a bunch of different things and you're trying to get one thing done, right? Yeah, you're still getting shit done because you're multitasking, but you're doing everything at a low level. As opposed to if you were to just do one thing a day, right, knocking one thing out at a time, you're going to do it at the maximum level. It's the same approach with lifting, with trying to get ripped. You need a workout split, bro. You do not hit full body every day. What a workout split is, is you hitting different parts of your body every day. So me, first day, I go chest and triceps. Tuesday, back and biceps. Wednesdays, I either rest or I do cardio. I go for a run, right, just to keep my body moving. I go for a run and I hit cardio. I hit abs, running abs. I hit abs after 10 minutes of abs after every day you work out. Thursday, I go legs. Friday, I do like explosive movements or I do just straight calisthenics. Saturday, Sunday, either calisthenics or I'm just running core. But Saturday, Sundays, I give my body a rest for the lifting. No lifting. Do not lift every day. You do not need to be lifting weights every single day. What do you gain from that, bro? Your muscles need to rest. Your muscles need to recover. Now, this is the three-step guide to seeing better results, bro, because that's why you clicked on this video, right? The fuck, what are we wasting time for? Give me the, give me what I want. Give it now. Now, look, first thing, progressive overload. Progressive overload is you upping the weight, bro, right? You need to up the weight. If you're still curling the 25s and the 25s are light, you're just throwing that shit up. At this point, you're not fighting. No, bro. Go up to 30. The 35s become light. Go up to 40, right? You just keep going up and up and up. That way, you're pushing your muscles, bro pushing your muscles and when you you do an exercise right you come up i want you to squeeze hold for two seconds and squeeze as hard as you can watch bro watch when you start doing this shit your muscles are gonna get 10 times bigger you're gonna come up and you're gonna squeeze bro squeeze hold that shit for two seconds trust me but you upping the weight you progressively overloading right you're gonna start seeing your maxes right you're gonna start seeing your maxes on the bench your maxes on the squat your numbers are going to keep going up and up and up. Not only are you going to be proud of yourself, but you're also going to be pushing your muscles. You're going to be pushing your muscles, causing them to grow. They're going to get bigger. There's no way you're going to push your muscles and you're going to get smaller. You need to push your muscles and get bigger. I'm not saying that you need to lift heavy ass weights every day. But if the weight's fucking light for you and you're just tossing this shit around and it feels like you're not using any weight, then go up. Do yourself the favor and go up. Stop cheating yourself, bro. Stop limiting yourself. Stop being comfortable, nigga. Go up and wait. If the weight's too much for you, then you go back down. But try to go up, right? And keep going up and up and up and up. Right now, my curl is at like 40. And you want it to be slow and controlled, right? Because you really want to feel it. I'm not going up because if I were to go 50, 50 pound curl, it wouldn't be slow and controlled. I'd be like playing around with it. So go up so that you're still slow and controlled, but you're pushing your muscles. Next thing, high intensity training, bro. I'm telling you, incorporate this. You need to be jumping, bro. Have a day where you do 
at least a bit like a five minute circuit of high intensity training like jump squats burpees jumping jacks anything where you're jumping you're moving your body or what i like to do is time over tension look instead of doing a certain amount of reps start doing shit timed anyone who's ever worked out with me or i've ever trained i have them do push-ups for 30 seconds but instead of being like you got 50 reps i say do it as many as you can until you fucking can't do any more push-ups for 30 seconds once 30 seconds is done you're good so they're fighting they're fighting they feel that shit because it's not a certain amount of number it's not a number it's time so they're not stopping until the time comes up obviously sometimes they stop and they fall or they fail in between right even i stop and fail right but they get right back up and when that till that time is over they're doing push-ups i'm telling you them shits work same thing with burpees bro Instead of doing reps, do it time, bro. Try to do as many as you can within that time. High intensity training is not only going to help you to shred body fat, because obviously, summer's coming up. You want abs. Your abs are pretty much based on your body fat percentage. If your body fat percentage is high, you're not going to see your core because it's under a bunch of body fat. It's under your big ass belly, nigga. You need to lose the weight and you'll have abs. Literally, lose the weight and you'll have abs, right? Now, this is the most important part. Now, if you stay to the end of this video, you're a real ass nigga, bro. And you deserve to hear this last part because you stayed to the end, right? Mind you, we're not even on the camera right now. We're on the computer. So if you're a loyal subscriber, you know your boy started off on the freaking computer, man. And now we're on the camera, man. This is what I really use. But it's your nutrition. Abs are made in the kitchen. Ooh, hold on. Because I look, you just cut. But look, for real, you need to be eating right, bro. You need to be eating right. If you're skinny, like I said, you lean bulk. If you're skinny and you want to get bigger, you want to see results, you lean bulk. You eat like 200 to 300 calories above whatever your calorie range is right now. 200 to 300 calories above. And stop eating bullshit food. Eat real food. You can still eat junk and be ripped. I still eat junk and I'm still ripped and I still have a six pack and I'm still chiseled up. Right? But. For the most part, I eat clean. I don't eat junk 24-7. I mainly eat clean every now and then, every day. I had a little cheese snack, man. I got a little cheese snack. And I won't lie to you, bro. I eat cheese snacks. Yesterday, I had lemon cakes. My grandma died, and my girlfriend made me lemon cakes. Like, what the fuck? I was going to eat the lemon cakes, bro. Like, like you thought I was thinking about, like, yo, I can't eat these lemon cakes. No, nigga, I just ate the lemon cakes. That was my cheese snack for the day. Live, bro. You got to be human. You got to live. There's no way you're going to have a perfect diet. You're going to be fucking killing yourself if you're doing that shit. Right? But for the most part, eat clean, bro. You think I was eating lemon cakes all day? Hell nah. I was eating fruit. Fruit, fruit, fruit. I had some beef, like some cut up ground beef. And I had the lemon cakes. But make sure you're eating right for the most part. Eat clean, bro. Like I said, you're skinny, lean bulk. If you're fat, if you're big, if you're a big body, big back, big bone, you lose some weight, big boy. Okay? So what you need to do again to a calorie deficit, which is pretty much you cutting down what you're eating. You don't need to be eating those chips. You don't need to be eating that cake. But you decided to eat that cake, bro, knowing that you're trying to lose weight, bro. So are you really trying to lose weight if you're over here eating cake and shit? Let's be honest. Just be honest with me. Be real. Because it's just me and you. No, you're not, bro. You're not committed. You're not actually trying to lose weight. You just be saying that. Stop. The reason why you're not seeing results is because you keep fucking eating like shit. You can't eat like shit and see the results you want to see. You can't eat like shit and expect to get ripped. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got any fitness questions, let me know. Now, like I said, if you're bigger, you want to get to a calorie deficit. It's pretty much you eating less, bro. Eating less and eating clean. Whether you're lean bulking or you're into calorie deficit, look, lean bulking, you're eating clean. You're eating clean, but you're just eating a bigger portion. Eat a little bit more. Add some rice to your meal, right? Because you want to put on weight. Eat some rice and shit, right? For the niggas who are in a calorie deficit, cut out the rice, bro. Go meat and fruit. That's what I do. Meat and fruit. Meat and fruit. Cheat snack? Yeah, cheat snack. No cheat days. Remember, lean bulk, right? Or if you're losing weight, you're cutting. Nigga. No cheat days, man. If you're watching this video and you have a cheat day after hearing this, just go ahead and block me and never click on my channel again because you're fucking banned. No more cheat days, man. Cheat snacks. I don't care if it's your birthday. I don't care if your grandma died, man. My grandma died too. It's no cheat days, bro. It's cheat snacks. And I'm going to see y'all, man. For the most part, remember, eat clean, bro.
or cheap meals. Just eat clean. Cheap snacks and cheap meals are acceptable. Cheap days are unacceptable. Now, eat clean, man. Eat clean. So, let's do a video recap for the niggas who didn't actually pay attention, but they just had the video playing because they were falling asleep, and they're weird, and they just like to hear a real nigga's voice. Now, the first one, progressive overload. Going up in weight every time it becomes easy. You go up, you go up, you go up. Next thing, high-intensity training, right? Jump. Nigga, do burpees. Do jumping jacks. Do jump squats. Do box jumps. If you got any questions about these workouts, You let me know. Do push-ups. Timed. I'm telling you, you will get so much stronger. You will stretch so much fat. And the last thing is the food, the most important thing. Your diet is the most important thing ever, man. Right? You are what you eat. You're eating chips. You're eating cupcakes. You're eating fucking sweets. That you're drinking soda. Who the fuck? Why are you still drinking soda in 2024? You're killing yourself, man. And that's about it, man. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all. So, man, hit me on Instagram. Hit me on Instagram. Hit me on Instagram. And we got an ebook coming out soon. It's called Shredded by Summer. And if all the niggas want to get ripped by the summer or in the summer, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should have been getting ripped, but I'm here to save y'all. Don't worry.